What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, last night's re debut of Uncle Howdy and the Wyatt Six faction um, was hella entertaining. I thought it was very dope with what they did. They lived up to the uh, the idea of a massacre. They said they were gonna massacre um, some some people on Monday Night Raw, and they did. They legitimately went on a damn near murdering spree in the backstage area, and you know supposedly maybe Gunther got packed up. We're not for certain. People, there's an image of that circulating. And we all saw Chad Gable get sent to the upper room, and a lot of uh jag security and production officials just was packed up everywhere backstage i thought that was very entertaining definitely has a lot of people talking about it, it was really cool i think bray definitely would have loved it um just how everything played out the crowd was lit for it and i'm looking forward to seeing how things will play out going forward on smackdown and what's gonna happen on monday night raw next week but i i wanted to ask y'all how y'all have felt about last night uh last night's uncle howdy's um uh attack on monday night raw i guess you could say him and his uh his uh new faction that he has if y'all enjoyed that segment or not so i asked this uh this particular question on twitter and i wanted to get y'all opinion on it so let me go ahead and pull up my twitter real quick shout out to everyone that participated in this this is the tweet that i i wanted to get y'all opinion on comment down below uh how y'all feel about uncle howdy's return and the massacre that ensued i plan on making a video reading y'all opinions about the whole segment a lot of y'all definitely uh commented on it so i really appreciate everyone that commented on this i'm gonna try to scroll down as much as i can get the the earlier ones and then work my way up let's start working our way up i'm not gonna probably read all of it but i'll read as much as i possibly can um uh, this person here said i loved it i feel like uh i feel like them not focusing on the supernatural element was good call and in my opinion makes it even better i do like it has a little bit of the supernatural vibe but at the same time it, it is kind of grounded a little bit more in reality that these guys just said fuck it they've been hacking like wwe's like twitter not i think their twitter and like their twitch like it's been more grounded in a little bit of like less supernatural but still has supernatural elements to it and pretty much they they said they were gonna pack up people and they packed up people um how did uh wwe get away with showing that much much murder on live tv also if they're called the y6 they're uh why are there only five of them either way i'm scared i'm sleeping with my bible in hand uh tonight i, I think maybe another member will be added uh, i'm guessing this possibly was supposed to be what they were uh originally gonna do with bray unfortunately end up passing so he definitely would have you know been the sixth person in that whole faction but we'll see if they had anyone else someone said cinema uh, another person here said i love this so much goosebumps another person uh i hope the y6 destroy the judgment day and that causes the judgment day to split dom goes with live finn and jd what finn and jd die from from an from the attack and damien goes solo and waits for Rhea's return damien and Rhea should still be allies that's a that's an interesting one so basically finn and jd just they end up getting packed up with my boy chad gable rest in peace chad gable man um it uh it's good but don't over don't over slow cook this that's a fair point um death that's all i think death uh someone else uh critical hypercritical of it we're not hypercritical but critical of the situation it's dumb considering they made it look like everyone is dead where to go from here i don't think obviously they're not dead we, we got to see what they're gonna say i hope they mention you know people were sent to the hospital whatever people were knocked out did it look like a horror movie scene and people legitimately may have been packed up i think there was one guy in gorilla there was a whole bunch of blood behind him i don't know you would think he would be dead too but we will see how they explain that um i'm interested and willing to let it play out one of the best ways to introduce them since in all honesty we still don't have any clue as of what their intentions are are they planning attacks are they just 
uh, there for chaos or is there something greater under the core plus alexa bliss sister abigail has yet to appear i think a lot of people think she's going to be involved uh i wrote this last night after all all i know i know right now in heaven above uh bray wyatt is smiling uh smiling of what wyatt six five members did tonight in legacy of bray he is singing he's got the whole world in his hand um rest in peace bray i, I know he would have loved this man this was so good very entertaining i feel like wyatt six finna take over wwe even better than judgment day and bloodline possibly bray will be proud don't what is this <laughs> why does this look like me who did this why'd you do this this is so weird bro the, the achievement unlock the final ross let me let me so y'all can see this achievement unlock the final ross okay i don't know this has nothing to do with the tweet in hand but that's okay that's cool someone said cinema uh someone else said i love the debut of why it's six sick the whole segment was amazing stuff um and it was intense and creepy gave me chills and goosebumps when bo as uncle howdy said we are here bray would have been uh would have uh would be proud of his work from uh from brother i think he would have as well i truly hope he succeeds because i believe in bray Wyatt, and i know he believes in uh bray's vision he deserves to finish what his brother started and keep his legacy alive so i'm rooting for uncle howdy and wyatt six cinema absolutely loved it perfect way to do it can't wait for, uh, to see others uh see what happens uh now um this is what this person said this is how you debut a destructive faction showing everyone taken out and leaving how they were taken out uh up to our imagination absolute perfection sensational the classic future meme i think it uh, was the perfect way for them to debut but my only concern is what's next another thing is this type of stuff isn't your th uh thing stop trying to shit on what happened uh stop trying to add realism to the wyatt universe it's always been about story not realism with the wyatt i don't know who he's talking to in that sense but okay uh i got goosebumps from it uh, the whole return and debut from Y6 was nothing short of incredible. The way they massacred stars like Gunther, Gable, Carmelo showed uh, what they were capable of and had a strong presentation and gave flashback to Bray's return and Extreme Rules. Definitely, definitely gave me some flashbacks of that. That was pretty cool. A uh, little, little, I guess you can say, tribute to Bray's return when he came back at Extreme Rules a few years ago. I liked it and I want more. It paid off well. Chad Gunther got laid out like JAGs. I really want to know because people are circulating saying that was Gunther. Y'all let me know if it's confirmed that was him. I don't know. The debut of the Y6 uh, was so damn good when they had a massacre was coming. They did not disappoint. They got they caught so many bodies in less than five minutes. This faction is going to be a force to reckon with. I hope they keep that keep that going. I loved it. Uh, uh, it. I loved it. I cried, got goosebumps. I think Y6 are targeting people who have turned on their family. Just look at some of the names involved in the massacre. Possibly. I loved it a lot. I can't wait to see who they <laughs> kill next week. Recipes Gable, Mello, Braun, Gunther, Kaiser, uh, plus some producers. Huh. I need a I need to check out the list of all the people that really got packed up. The whole seg was fire. Rest in peace, Chad. Uh, no, GG's. Um, it's about Tom, Uncle Howdy, and the Firefly Funhouse come to life. Perk Gable and Gunther got packed up. Awesome debut. They need to let the Y6 be free agents that can terrorize anyone in the Raw, NXT, and SmackDown. They need a huge push with the intensity and setup of last night one set of tag uh tag team belts and a solo belt maybe both intercontinental and women's titles belt i don't know this is a group that's kind of has the supernatural element so i don't know if titles should be put on them it depends on what route they go i don't think titles should be put on them because it, they don't give me the uh the idea of titles like they don't they don't give me the that's their motivation i want titles we want to take over wwe by taking over the titles they don't give me that they give me chaos that's it their own brand of justice however they see fit doesn't give me 
titles. And honestly, they can be fine doing that. Because I don't think individually it makes sense for them to go for titles and stuff. I think as a group, as a collective, they are a, a, a dangerous force in WWE that WWE doesn't really have control over. So uh, I think you keep the titles away from them for a while. I uh, think it will make sense if they have uh, if uh, if they be that badass type of babyface faction. I don't even know if they're gonna be a babyface faction. I mean, they're murdering people. That's not what babyfaces do. <laughs> Everyone that got laid out should not be on the show next week. I like the idea, even though I think they announced Chad Gable was supposed to be in a match for a qualifying match next week. We don't know. I just don't want them to just act like nothing happened. They need to be able to. Tell us there was a massacre. There was an attack last week. Something. So I don't want them to forget about that. Um, I just don't know, man. Presentation was amazing, but I, but I just miss Bray too much. It just feels like it's missing something. I watched the whole thing and I just felt numb. Hey, that's your personal opinion. Completely understand. Uh, it's absolutely amazing to cap off a really good raw. They're gonna cook with this, and you can tell that Bo Dallas is really happy with his smile. Man, honestly, I just don't think it was truly uh, right morally to have it. Like, to me, it's like forcing an actor to play the Joker exactly like how Heath Ledger played the Joker. None should uh, play the exact same role Same role exactly. It, if that makes sense, it reminds me of the Matt Bourne got replaced as Doink. Here's the thing. Uncle Holly's already been an established character. It's not him replacing The Fiend. Uncle Howdy has been established. They were going to do something of this sort. So Uncle Howdy's already been there. This is not him replacing Bray. Nobody's going to replace the Fiend or anything like that. I think they're going to. We know this is the brainchild of Bray. I don't think they're going to try to replace him or do anything of that sort. If anything, they're just expounding of what Bray was trying to do before he passed. Or the ideas he probably had. So. Uh, it felt, it felt it was worth the wait for sure. I enjoyed the QR codes, the little secrets people would share on Twitter and that others, uh, could miss example, the strange sound audio from one of the codes, someone revealed it was images of uncle howdy. Honestly, one of the coolest wrestling segments I've seen in a long time. I admit to being prone, uh, to recent a uh, recent uh, bias but compare it to the nexus for a faction debut and it's unreal and i love the nexus debut now this was a really good debut and of course this right here i, I just love this is floating around in love and memory of chad gable march 8 1986 June 17 2024 age 38 years old always in our thoughts forever in our hearts <laughs> thank you <laughs> oh chad man chad got packed up I'm cautiously optimistic. The most important thing to me, uh, to uh, thing uh, to me with this faction is that they carry on Bray's legacy and honor his memory. No one has, uh, no one uh, has uh, has a mind like Bray did. So I hope that he has a lot. Um, I hope he has a lot of this mapped out before he passed. I'm pretty sure they did. I'm, I'm willing to bet this was in discussions. I, if you watch the documentary, they were really excited to get back into the, the swing of things. And then the medical issues happened. They they were excited. They were ready to do something, you know. So I was in shock. I wish it was Monday. I wish it was Monday night, uh, Monday uh, right now. Can't wait for next Monday to see what happens to them uh, next. Also, we miss you, Bray. Rest in peace. No supernatural stuff, man. Please. We'll see how they keep it grounded in reality for the most part. I wish it didn't happen during the win of the Celtics, but it was an amazing ending. Triple H out here making banger after banger after banger. I think I read one of his already. Explains the reason Nikki Cross was in a transfer for those matches of standing still, not speaking, hiding backstage. It must have been a spell for... Uh, only Uncle Howdy to activate her evil character. It makes sense why she wasn't moving and retreating in the episodes and and the battle role. That's a possible idea. Like, bro, OMG, been waiting for uh, the longest time and it didn't disappoint. And their debut uh, taking out known wrestlers was a great was great. And they can make a story out of anything. Now, great job, WWE. 
um i'm ready for this i've been ready for this and i think this is going to be fun but i just don't want to see people dragging this because these days people don't know what they want and they are always bitching about something if they don't like it hey man that's that's part of part of uh social media and just the climate of the world one minute people like it next minute they'll hate it give them all the belts this summer uh of uncle howdy and wyatt six uncle howdy a uh, world title, Gacy, Loomis, Tag, Rowan, IC, Cross, Women's Champ. This will be the perfect tribute to Bray. Why? But are uh, but are they just a part of Raw or are they going to tear apart SmackDown? Like I said, keep the titles away from them. This is different. You, you're trying to get these guys over as fucking like just maniacs. So keep the titles off them. Let them focus on... Whatever they got to focus on, their objective should be titles. They don't give me, I want to win world championship type vibes. It's, we're here to cause disorder and chaos by any means necessary. They literally packed up everyone in Gorilla. So, they don't give a damn about titles. Uh, one of the greatest returns of faction debuted all time. It was also emotional with Bray's passing uh had chills it was really well done that was well done bray would be so proud it was great really showed the creative mind of bray in the story they're telling excellent debut i'm just really curious on who's the first big few going to be against um sling company except for wwe and also it builds uncle howdy as a horror scary strong force to reckon with and so uh, see or one of his matches or even advertising it would be money in the feud alone big dub so the massacre was a perfect thing and perfect timing to do uh, let me kind of scroll up a little bit more so to the top um because I, I appreciate everyone that uh that you know commented on here let's see what this person say i don't know where this whole thing is going to go but i'm very interested in this story because they're they're not exclusive to monday night raw i think uh i think uh so they may pull up to nxt and smackdown and just fuck shit up make it to where nobody's safe anyone can catch the smoke i like that i like that uh i think nick aldis tweeted earlier i don't know if it was today or last night he just tweeted tweeted question marks just question marks so which leads me to believe that they can they, he was probably confused on what the fuck just happened maybe we see him on nxt maybe we see him on monday on smackdown too because they shouldn't be tied to one brand this is they've been affecting wwe for months that qr codes have been on smackdown as well so uh let me keep scrolling through uh, it was cinema. I'm interested to listen to what they're going to say next week or soon. Why uh, the team was formed. What's their goal? Their plans. Also, I look forward to seeing how they wrestle in the ring. Same here. And someone made this uh, correlation. I saw this somewhere. CG, Chad Gable. And then it says, let me make it bigger. You change. You stop saying, thank you. He did change. And they packed him up for it. So possibly... That's what could have happened. Someone said, this is how I felt seeing the segment last night. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, the massacre that ensued on Raw last night is the perfect way to put the entire Raw locker room on notice. So if any, if everyone else, I'd had, uh, I'd have my head on the swivel because you never know when they'll come, uh, uh, where they will come from. Like that idea. Um, let's see. It's a beautiful, it's beautiful to see Bo carry the legacy. Seeing him smile while coming out to the Fireflies was a touching moment, despite there being a whole massacre backstage. Yes, that was a cool visual. Uh, great debut. I hope it works out. My biggest concern, their matches. Where will they uh, they take place? Because it has to be supernatural. It can't be normal. Well, I think you can. I don't know. That's what I'm really interested in. What they're going to do with the matches aspect of it um oh my god bro this is funny i looked down below and this popped up so this is obviously the tweet i had and then someone put 
<laughs> in loving memory of Chad Gable and then all the WWE superstars standing on stage. <laughs> That's funny, man. That's hilarious. Bray and Harper are pleased, man. I'm going to definitely like this one, man. Uh, let me keep going. Let me see. Truly, everything about this segment was great. Bray Wyatt would be so proud. Got chills. Everything about this reintroduction to Uncle Audi and his group was done to perfection. Creepy, haunting, and dark. Uh, I teared up when they played Bray's, uh, when they played Bray's theme play. Uh, I got what he meant to say. Definitely, this was just, it was, it was really good. I was channel flipping and I thought they had made another John Wick movie. Turns out it was it was Unk and them. <laughs> you stupid, bro. <laughs> Amazing debut, and I'm sure Wyndham is smiling ear to ear. If anything, if anything, this needs to turn into a war games match. Y6 versus Gunther Chad, Gable, Camelo Dom, and maybe Jay Uso. No. <laughs> They already, some of them already got packed up. And even Jay said he don't even want the Fireflies no more. He can have them. The family is back. He don't know. He don't want them. He don't need them. He, they, they asked him, you know, what happened. You know what I'm saying? How he felt about what happened. He's like, nah, I don't want the Fireflies. Good job, Jay. <laughs> Good job. Crossman. Um, uh, Shout out to him, man. WWE took five people that had been used as mid carters or jobbers, three of which had been released by the company and got them over in one segment. Absolutely. I loved it. Hope they can follow up with magic or supernatural elements. As long as it's not too much, but just, uh, I like, a um, what they did last night. I like that. I can deal with that. You can work with that. Imagine the worst, most campy horror movie you've ever seen. Uh, it was like that, but in a positive way. Yeah, definitely. And shout out to YN, uh, RD, the homie. Uh, I would love to see this faction inside War Games. Also, uh, they leave Us alone. He gave them, <laughs> he gave back the damn Fireflies. I don't know if we'll see them in War Games. Maybe it just depends if they set up something where they're going after a group of individuals and they keep going after them over and over and over and over to finally they band together to try to stop these guys sure i'm okay with that so but no nah, this was definitely dope man i i appreciate everyone that was a part of this um I, I didn't get to everybody in here but i was able to at least get to some of your guys uh tweets so i really do appreciate y'all doing this and i, I definitely want to do more videos like this where i'll ask y'all a particular question about what we you know what's happened recently in wrestling and i felt like this was a great one to talk about uh uncle howdy's re-debut reintroduction to monday night raw and i wanted to get y'all genuine uh genuine opinions on how y'all felt about the segment so if y'all want me to do some more uh, videos like this where i ask you guys some questions on twitter and y'all let me know how y'all felt about it let me know down below i definitely will do that going forward but i appreciate all love and support y'all shown on the channel roads on 50k and i'm still here to speed the youtube best in the, the world appreciate y'all kicking with me see you on the next one peace